It was a stunning sight at Kilauea Volcano, a so-called fire hose of lava pouring into the Pacific Ocean. But that ended today with the collapse of a large sea cliff. This week, we've been telling you about the dangers of getting too close to the lava flow because of a growing crack in the sea cliff. Scientists told us the cliff could collapse at any time, and this afternoon, it did. Alexander Zanes joins us with more on what happened. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, the sea cliff collapsed without warning. Geologists had gone out to check the status of the cracks and were close enough to watch, but far enough to be out of harm's way when it happened. Cascading sheets of lava creating explosions where the molten rock hits the sea, spattering plumes nearly twice as high as the sea cliff itself. A fire hose of lava has been a sight to behold over the last few weeks at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. That pouring into the ocean is really unusual, and to have it last this long and to keep growing in its size is, is very unusual, really, really special and beautiful uh, sight to see. Over the last few days, large cracks in the lava rock made it extremely dangerous for anyone approaching by land or by sea. I'm told grinding noises were heard coming from the cracks in the rock, which expanded to more than twice the original size in just a day. And then, without warning, a 98-foot-long portion of the sea cliff broke off into the ocean. Fortunately for the scientists who had just arrived, they were far enough away to be out of danger, but their camera captured the collapse. Apparently, it did... Uh Part of the uh, sea cliffs did fall off this afternoon and create quite a big splash and waves. Lava is still flowing into the ocean, but the fire hose-like flow can no longer be seen. Park rangers say even though that part of the cliff did break off, the area is still constantly changing, and park users need to heed safety ropes and signs at all times. There's a reason why there are closures in place, and it's, it's for public safety, and also for the safety of our first responders who might have to be on scene uh, responding to any kind of incident that would happen. And this is the second large sea cliff that's fallen into the ocean in just over a month. The last collapse happened on New Year's Eve with around 21 acres of lava delta breaking off into the sea. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.